We have quite a few questions for you. I hope that you're not done talking yet. <laughs> um, just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's watching, um, particularly Eclipse FX, who's given us a picture of himself as a Raptor Wrangler. Very much appreciated. Um, <laughs> Looks quite good. It does. It looks very impressive. Um, okay, so questions. Uh, how many rounds of reviews would you go through for a particular shot on average? Um, kind of hard, hard to say. For example, the, the Gallimimus shots that we see the running alongside the, the truck, that shot took almost a year, wow. basically. <laughs> yeah, and, and because it's a progression, so we started with 10 Gallimimus and then a little bit more, a little bit more, ended up with 60, and then it was the very f last shot to be done. So that shot had like something like 200 uh, integrations, uh, well, iterations. Yeah. So I don't know, another shot would have like four or five and it will be done. Um, so I, 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 don't, I don't know if I have a number on yeah. top of my head too. Okay, all right. Uh, did you work with Deep at all? And if so, how did it impact your workflow? So we did not. You did not? No. So it did not. <laughs> 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 so at, at, at first, um, we have our pipeline set up for, for working in kind of 2D, let's say, render passes. And um, we decided not to, to venture into this new thing for this show. And um, so we, s we stick with the idea of having kind of holdouts and having ID mats to cut out the, the, the raptors from effects passes and so on, um, which was kind of at, at the end, it was kind of, I would rather do it deep because the show was a show in which animation would take quite a long time to get finished. So every time we would get like, ah, this is the new animation, we would have to render it all again and update our comps. So, but, but the good thing is that we worked uh, with the IT department, so the renders would be fairly quick. Uh, ended up working well. So no, no deep pass and okay. just magic. Just magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you bring dinosaurs back to life. It's got to be a little magic. I see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have a new spin on adding SSS afterwards to a render and compositing? Subsurface. I'm guessing yep. that's what yeah. this is. Well, that's SSS then. Subsurface scattering. Sub yeah. Scattering. So we would basically, we would have the, our beauty pass and, and many companies work in a way that they would have the rebuild the beauty pass with all the AOVs. We work in a different way in which we, with well, if you have the subsurface and you have want to take it out and, and tweak it, then you do that. You take the subsurface, tweak and add it back. I, I, it was a fairly straightforward uh, way of working. And, and again, things like the, the nostrils, that would have to tweak the, the, the subsurface, the tongue, and, and the teeth. But it was basically the same sort of uh, pre-comps that we would do with uh, any AOV. OK. Uh, were artists from both ILM and Image Engine working on any, any of the same shots? Y yes. We first, we did a couple of shots in, 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 in which we were enhancing the plates. And then we would send those plates back to ILM. The artists wouldn't talk to each other per se, right? But th we would provide something to ILM. Or for example, we, we've came up with the setup for the, the lasers, and then we had to send that to, to ILM. And the same way they had like a, a setup for the spear that they used to, to kind of, uh, well, stop the Raptor. And they provided us with that setup. So it was really collaborative yeah. as, a, a, as a work. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, was there a lot of render optimization at the full CG shots, or were you like, screw that, we'll brute force us, <laughs> force it? <laughs> <laughs> well, comp wise, it was. You shouldn't say screw that, that work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, comp wise, uh, w we, we definitely we, we would put like priorities and, and render like clumps and, and more, more memory for those shots. Uh, CG wise, I think that they were all fairly. Um, not fast, but we had a, a, a good uh, speed for the renders. Again, I'll go back to the IT guys working in a way. Oh, let's render this with these settings, and and it will come out of the farm in a in a in a, in a, in a quick way. Usually, we would kind of the the lighting 
department, they, they kind of have something really cool, which is like an auto comp. And so they, they launch the renders. Once it's done, there's an auto comp that comes out of that. So early in the morning, they would come in, just check the renders, the, 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 the comp, and then publish. So it would be a kind of an overnight thing, and, and, and it was done. I, we would never be kind of waiting for too long for, for any of the renders. Alright, Juan, I have one for you oh in for the me. middle. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is your advice if someone's beginning to learn Nuke? Where would they start? Where would they start? Um, uh, there is quite nice tutorials online. I'll say <laughs> we have quite a few nice stuff online uh, with basics. Um, I think Nuke. Just sit down with it first. Have a look around. Um, Download the non-commercial version. Use the non-commercial version. Yep, that makes life way easier. Um, and I think Nuke, because it's node-based, it's a little bit simpler in certain areas once you kind of pick the right nodes. Uh, so have a look maybe through the documentation. There is quite nice uh, node. Uh, on each node, you have a question mark on the top. So it's very easy to actually kind of go, and it will take you to the right place to understand what that what that node uh, does. I, um, I, I know the question is for you, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but something that I, uh, um, that, I, that I used to do when I, when I was getting into comp that I loved doing was I would pick a shot that I really liked and I would just try to replicate that. Ooh. So that would basically be kind of, this is what I, that's my goal, my target. What do I need to do for that? Ah, oh, cool, so I have to have a, well, an element here to, I don't know, like the dust residual. Can I shoot something? Yes, you can. You can yeah. do that at home, you know? Or you want to have a lens flare. You can use like an uh, optical flare or any lens flare tool, but you can do it as well. Yeah. You can just light a, a lamp and, and put a camera towards it, and boom, you, you got an awesome lens flare. And then you, you build your own kind of comp. And with that, I, I, I guess that for me is the best, because you're learning, doing it, and trying to achieve something that it's, good yeah. it's not like ah oh, this is what i could achieve no 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 you have to achieve that and uh, yeah go with that it's pretty just fun just get your hands dirty yeah. essentially yeah yeah okay uh joel back to you um <laughs> this i quite like this because i'm quite interested uh how long did she run in those heels and did they have to fix that in post <laughs> i think they're talking about bryce dallas howard here not the raptor <laughs> i don't think there were raptors wearing heels as far as I know. <laughs> no, we didn't have to fix any. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, 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 she was, well, she was wearing it. Yeah. yeah. I know that ILM did some shots in which they, they kind of, well, fix it or they, they add it, but we didn't have to, to do any of that. Okay. Okay, last one. If you could work on another epic franchise, what would it be? E.T. E.T. Yeah. Okay. I would That's go. Yeah, I would totally <laughs> go, go for that. <laughs> oh man, I would be so excited. <laughs> That's cool. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank it's you. It's been uh, absolutely incredible to see the behind yeah. the scenes and that amazing breakdown reel. It's been incredible. Um, awesome. We will be back in the new year. Uh, so keep an eye out for our emails or on social or anything like that. Um, a big. Thank you to uh, AJA for providing uh, the streaming Im uh, equipment that we've used today. Um, and yes, so have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we will see you in 2016. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.